Doom Master with Alpha Game Reviews. Coming to you with a first look of Necro, a new strategy RPG. This came out on Steam Early Access. Uh, the game is basically about you being a necromancer and killing lots of peasants. At least that's the gist of what I've gotten from it so far. The game's supposed to be in beta. Uh, fairly far along with most of the features implemented and not too many bugs, etc. So hopefully this will look like a pretty polished game. Certainly at the loading screen it looks pretty good. And it leaves a nice first impression. And that continues over to the options where I noticed that we have uh, quite a lot of different choices. Uh, both presets and individuals for texture, shadow, you know, bloom, SSAO, all that stuff. Uh, gib count could even be turned up to a metric shit ton, which is always nice when you're going to be playing a game about killing peasants. There's some audio options, nothing too fancy, this music, uh, sound volume, and some unit chatter stuff. You've got some control options, and then the choice to turn on and off a few basic gameplay options, including social horror, which is apparently... Um, has to do with the Facebook and Twitter integration on this game, which I really don't know that much about at this point. But let's just go ahead and hop into the single player, and we're going to continue a game that I already started, uh, because the tutorial section is pretty boring, um, which is sort of to be expected. We're going to skip this little bit of text. The voice acting in this game is actually pretty decent, but also pretty slow. For some reason, everyone talks with absolutely no sense of urgency. So you, you have to kind of sit around for, you know, two or three minutes while they say what they need to say, and it, it's not going to win any rewards for writing. It's not supposed to, I imagine. So it's generally pretty, pretty boring stuff that you'll just skip through. This is the second level. And as you can see, the graphics are not bad. I get a really... Uh, distinct torchlight vibe from this game. Um, the controls are actually WASDA though, so this is not controlling like a traditional action RPG, where you would, you know, click with your mouse to to go where you wanted to go. Instead, that's used for a ranged attack, which you have, and then there's also a melee attack. So left mouse is melee attack, ranged attack is right mouse, and then you move around WASDA. Which is a little weird. But it seems to work alright. The main issue I'd say with this game as far as the controls go is it just feels very slow. It's not bad, but as far as a sort of action RPG feels goes, the controls don't have the responsiveness of Diablo 3 or Torchlight 2. I can definitely say that for sure. So I'm going to get a cool little pumpkin ally here. We'll see what he can do. Now besides your primary attack and your ranged attack, you also have some summons. So I'm going to use my Scourge. And that just gives a nice little fireball. I also have a Horror, which has low health but does a lot of damage. And that's really all I got right now because this is, like I said, the second level. These Lumberjacks here, they do a fair amount of damage. I'll say that this game, starting out, was maybe a little bit harder than expected because the tutorial level actually died. I, I picked a fight with some cows that did not go my way, surprisingly enough, and was quickly killed by them. The farmers, thankfully, even the Lumberjacks, are a little bit easier to kill. And once you kill someone, you can consume them to gain blood, which is your resource for your powers, and also health, which of course I'm already at maximum health, so it doesn't matter too much. So basically at this point, I was just mowing through these peasants, and then I achieved victory. And as far as level design goes, this is a pretty big problem if this is the game, this is the way the game is going to be. Because, okay, I killed a bunch of peasants, they were pretty much all the same, there were, well, there were two or three lumberjacks. I got my souls up to maximum, and that's it. 
in the level. Not exactly the most exciting thing in the world. But we'll give it a little bit more time and see what happens. Millen's Gallagher. I mean, there's a good sense of humor in this game, at the very least. But that only gets you so far if the gameplay is not that exciting. So, I'm going to upgrade my health so I don't die too quickly. And for minion summons, I'm going to go with that. Dark magic increases damage per hit is always nice. And it looks like I don't have enough to unlock the next minion because I used it on that upgrade. So that's fine. Whatever. We'll go with that. I have unspent sins. I wonder if that means you lose them. Probably not. That's actually useful because it was... Scourge was reloading pretty slowly. Alright, so let's start the third level. See what's going on. There's some variance to the graphics design as well here because, as you can see, you know this, this looks more, more of a desert level. And this is only the third level. It's not like we've gone to, you know, through different areas in the game. So there's some corpses here, which are probably just there for me to get some blood for my abilities, which I will take advantage of. Quite a few lumberjacks here. But I think we're going to be able to smash them without too much of a problem. Now we've got a small army of guys. It doesn't look like you ever have any real control over your minions, though. So, I'm not quite sure about the billing of this game as sort of a strategy RPG. I mean, you have minions, that's true. But I'm not sure what the strategy is supposed to be. Oh crap, here's a cow. They're awful. Okay, I slaughtered him pretty easily, actually. Must be a lot more powerful now. Whew. Taking a lot of damage from these guys. Spacebar is a dash, which is how I'm getting around so quickly. Uh, and you really need it because your base movement speed is extremely slow. I think this game could really use an increase in the movement speed or just some sort of general sprint option would be nice. You can kill the cows, you can kill the chickens, although I don't think that it's part of the mission to actually do so. Uh, they're probably there more than anything to give you the chance to increase your blood and use more of your powers. So, this game, I mean, it, it seems like it is in a pretty good beta state. There, I haven't run into any bugs while I've been playing this game, which I played a little bit before I started uh, recording the video to get my bearings with it. And it seems to run without flaw. I will say the frame rates are a bit slower than I would expect given the visual fidelity here. According to the fraps, I'm currently getting 42. Uh, and yes, this is on ultra, okay, but I mean, just look at it. It's not like it's very high resolution graphics or high polygon. Uh, models or whatever. In fact, I'd say although this does seem to have an inspiration from Torchlight 2, I'd say Torchlight 2 mm, looks as good overall. I don't know. That's a hard. That's a hard distinction to make on the fly. But from my experience playing that game, and I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, this looks. This looks as good, but not necessarily better. All right, looks like things are getting a little bit more challenging here with these. Uh, I'm not sure what these guys are. They're just uh, some sort of crazy berserkers with glasses. I'm playing a melee-based class here. There's also a healing class and a ranged DPS class. And they each have their own uh, unique abilities. Uh, I think the healing class would probably be more for multiplayer, although I'm not sure about that. 
a ranged DPS class actually could probably do quite well because I'm doing a fair amount of damage here, but I'm also taking quite a bit of damage from some of these enemies. That said, though, the enemy variety may not matter uh, because the enemy variety is not that great. It seems like it just did a big loop. So, let's see. It looks like my map here is telling me where the souls I need to get are. So, I guess I'll go check this out and see if there's more over here. Ah, here we go. Oh, man. These guys are doing a lot of damage. Need more minions. Get some bats out. Come on, bats. Earn your pay. There we go. They're mopping them. Yeah, get them! No, don't hit me. I think he's almost dead. Yes. <laughs> and I still got a jack o lantern alive, so that's nice. Alright, use that trinket, which is supposed to give me some blood. Oh my god. These assholes. I mean, this game it seems like it can be challenging, but I don't know if it's challenging in a good way, because it's not exactly... Like, there's a lot of strategy going on mainly, and it's sort of odd since I'm playing a melee class, but it seems like I'm doing a lot of kiting. And right now, I really wish I had a sprint mode. Now, I have to kill these guys with my melee because that gives... A victory? Why was I victorious? Because I filled my souls bar up. Hmm. Okay. I guess these chickens count as souls too, but I don't have to get them. I don't know about that. So far the levels have been pretty unsatisfying. Alright, so skip past the blah 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 again. Upgrade damage. We got some more trinkets. Which are nice, I guess. I mean, they do pretty basic stuff. It's not... Nothing groundbreaking as far as the items go. <laughs> Meat mouth? Oh my. Okay, yeah. That's pretty gross. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right now, it looks like I'm going to kill a mare. Okay, a little bit of a camera issue there. Yeah, clipping through the terrain. Always a good time. What does this do? I see it, but what what does it do exactly? Beats the hell out of me. I'm just gonna assume that we need to go south. Okay, if you're, you'll notice here that I appear to be going, you know, to the east and and going south on the map. So that's a little odd. There's also no souls thing showing up on this, so I, I guess the idea here is that I'm just supposed to uh, kill the mayor and not worry about collecting souls, which is fine. Oh, well, there is the mayor. Oh my god, seriously? What the hell? Okay, I got a meat mouth. Oh, shit. 
Oh, fucking A. The meat mouth did not do anything to the fucking mare. Alright. I guess I'm going to try and kill some chickens here and get some life from it. Get some blood. So I can summon up some bats here. That might even the odds a little bit. Looks like you can also dodge those hammer throws, which is nice. Oh my shit. I don't know what the point is of a melee hero, though, if these guys are doing so much damage per hit. Because there's really not anywhere near enough health on this character to make this worthwhile. Maybe I can just grind this guy down with my health regen. Which is boring. <laughs> boring is all hell, but it might work. Oh my, how's this for boss mechanics, huh? Now I'm going to eat the mare. Fat asshole. Gives you a lot of blood when you kill the mare. Apparently he's just like a big old tick. Alright, now we're going to try to deal with the hammer guy here and his little buddies. Uh, which he has quite a few. This isn't looking too great. I hope my bats can get rid of some of these guys. The upside is once they are dead, I can eat them for some life. Oh my god. I don't know about this. Oh, I died. <sighs> Shit. I don't know if I can say this is particularly satisfying. I'm going to give this one more try. One more try and then we're going to rage quick. Basic problem with this game is that there's just, there isn't enough going on as far as like tactical options or strategic awesome options or whatever you want to call them you just don't have many real choices in combat I mean I've got a melee attack which is just incredibly basic uh, ranged attack which just brings them into melee range okay uh, I've got some spells but it seems like the regeneration of getting blood from enemies is so slow like you get the resources so slowly that you hardly get to use them Let's see if I can lure some guys in here so we're gonna have a nice big old melee here which is all right but it looks like my bats die very quickly so they're not really much good to me oh my these fat assholes are all over me and look all my bats are dead my meat meat mouth is dead I don't even know what the meat mouth was doing. It didn't seem like he was doing a whole hell of a lot. The one guy is reset to his original position. The hammer guy, though, he's decided to, uh, you know, make himself a new hammer for some reason. Why not? Seems like as good a time as any, right? Oh boy, tell you what, there is some gameplay. Alright, so we managed to kill that guy by isolating him. Now I'll see if I can quickly kill this shotgunner. Oh crap. Ugh. Fuck! Alright folks, well this is... This is Necro, and 
so far, what I gotta say from this quick look is, uh, uh, it's probably not worth a buy. Um, big issue with this game is that, uh, it's not really fun. So, you know, it's definitely polished. It works. There are levels. There are things you can do in this game. Uh, but it's just not much fun because there's not a whole lot for your character to do. Hopefully, uh, there will be some more options uh, added later on. But with this game being supposedly pretty, pretty solidly into its beta phase. I mean, it should be feature complete by now, right? And... If this is all it has to offer, it's going to be hard to really recommend it at any price, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but this is only a first look, so it's not a full review. Uh, I'm going to play this game a little bit more, try and get past that stupid-ass level. And I'll come back to you and uh, let you know exactly what the final verdict is. Until next time, this is Matt Newmaster with Alpha Game Reviews, signing off.